What happens when you play Power World on the easiest settings possible? Are you able to defeat tower bosses without pals? Can you instantly catch every pal regardless of pal spheres? Can you reach level 50 in under an hour? Let's find out. Before I started this, I did consider doing some research in order to structure a plan of attack to see just how fast we could beat the entire game. But after I started that, I realized that's a ton of effort. So instead, I decided to say F it, let's full send it and figure it out along the way. All right, the time is now 9.21 a.m. I am setting a timer to give you guys continuous updates and show you just how fast we are moving through this challenge. But what I want to see is that XP gain with it at max level. What? Dude, level three with one stick. So, oh my God, are you two levels and we picked up four pieces of wood? This is going to be a breeze. I... Okay, so if we're gaining that much XP that quickly, then my biggest problem is going to be keeping up with my levels because I'm not going to be able to pick up enough items to level up that quickly. Dude, this is ridiculous. Look at how much XP we're getting just from picking up stone, wood, berries. We're already at level five. Dude, this is crazy. We're 30 seconds in and we are already up five levels. <laughs> Oh, that's legit over a thousand damage that's insane so if i'm doing that much damage with a punch on pals how much damage am i doing on structures wow okay that's not worth it we got to go back to picking stuff up that wasn't worth it at all look at that. each berry bush is giving us 20 xp this is crazy we're gonna be at level 20 in probably five minutes Mmm, yes, more victims. Hey there, little guy. <laughs> this is awesome. I have never had more fun playing Power World. And look at that, 37 technology points and level 7. Dude, I, I am the Power World version of One Punch Man. This could not get any more fun. Did I kill that? Oh, yeah. It's definitely dead. Level 8. This, <laughs> this is so much better than I thought it was going to be. But as much fun as this is to go around one hit KOing everything, where am I going to build? Dude, I've got 49 technology points. I'm level nine and I haven't built a single thing. I don't even know why I just picked up the egg or any of this chicken for that matter because I don't think I'm actually going to get hungry throughout this entire playthrough. Ooh, we found ourselves our first pal sphere. Odds of catching this Lambo are 33%. Try it anyway. Wow. Okay. You know what? You're dead. Dude, and level 10, and what time is it? Okay, in approximately three minutes, I think that was like closer to 2.53, we are at level 10. That is nuts. Why haven't I been playing Power World like this the whole time? Oh, dude, I'm weighed down now. I thought I'd turn that off. Oh my God, we've got so many stat points. Okay, well, we got to focus on gathering materials, so let's just add them to weight, and then obviously work speed. I'm not going to be able to catch anything too quickly. I'm actually leveling up way too fast. I didn't think that was a problem. I mean, look at that. I'm a level 11 now. Like, this is goofy. I don't know how I'm going to actually keep up with this, and I really want to fight this dinosaur right now. Like, I, I need to find a palace sphere, and we need to catch it. If not, take it down. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm worried that I might just one hit KO it. I'm level 11 and it's level 15, but still, I was doing a thousand damage on level three pals when I was level five, whatever it was. So let's just see how well we can fare against this thing. Oh, yeah, buddy. Sneak attack. Wow. Oh, Dude, 75 damage against this thing. Yep. That's more than I thought. I don't know. Why am I dodging right now? I turned off, like, all the damage this thing could deal with. So let's just sit here and take it. Look at that. I mean, that's almost embarrassing. That was something. Oh, boy. Oh, we pissed off the action here. Yeah, well, not a big concern anymore. Look at that. Mm, you're mine. 34% chance. Stay the Stay in the sphere. Stay in the sphere. Money. Our first pal caught. And it's a level 15 dinosaur. And we leveled up to level 12. 
67 technology points. This, yeah, I, wow, I'm really regretting not doing any research whatsoever because I probably could have planned this a lot better. But, you know, that's in the past. We're not going to worry about the past. What I am going to worry about is this pen gullet. Let's see. Level four, stay alive. Dude, 500 damage and 100% catch rate. Money. This. I, there's no other way to play Power World. If you've never put your Power World game on max settings, this is your official notification to do so. Because this is awesome. And look at those two gorgeous milpacas that we can test our fists of fury on. Level 11 and level 9. Probably going to take down the level 9. Nah, level 11. Come on. Two, 350 damage. This... What was that? Seven punches? Okay, dude, you're done for. Three, four, five. Five punches, and that thing was done for. <laughs> Level 14. I need to start building stuff before I start doing this completely out of order. Okay, before I go too far, I really do need to just set up base camp because I have absolutely nothing, and I can't just keep carrying around 700 pounds of material. So, workbench, and God, I really... <laughs> Should have done some research because even though I can build things extremely fast, I know that I've got like 80 technology points. So, oh God, let's see. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Look at that. 85 technology points. We just need to unlock all this stuff. Good God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this is going to be the hardest thing because I don't have a lot of materials to craft all this stuff. And I don't really have pals that can work right now. So I'm at a high level where I would have pals with at least level two handiwork, but right now I got nothing. It's just me. Okay, this is going to take a second. You know what, let's set this camp up here. Start the farming, start the milling, start the logging, everything, and then we will focus on getting the handiwork pals and moving further north, maybe? I don't know where I'm gonna want one of my second camps. I think maybe closer to Anubis, so that way we can just farm Alpha Anubis because, you know, we're practically invincible. Okay, I think that's the plan. And now that I have the chest built, I need to start crafting some other items like the bed. Oh. Okay, we got no fiber whatsoever. Okay, so we need to make a stone axe and a stone pickaxe. And actually, how many pieces of wood and stone do each of these items drop? You know what, let's find out. Because I feel like I increased yeah. that whole structure, damage, multiplier, whatever it is. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, we are cruising through there. God bless. What is that? Oh, 50 wood in 15 seconds. Oh, my God. 75, 82, okay. So, what is it, like 120, maybe? Because we multiplied it by three, I think. Oh, no, no, not even close. We are way beyond that. 140, 50, oh, my God. What is the answer here? Are we like, okay, 182 wood. Okay, <laughs> Dinosaur with 200 and we're weighed down. Great. Well, now that we got it, we might as well use it to build a bow and the three-shot bow, which I, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the three-shot bow still stronger than the legendary schematic bow? Somebody told me that a long time ago and I want to believe them, but then I also feel like they're yanking my chain. But now that we have all this wood, let's see how much wood and stone we actually need to start building arrows. Cause I feel like we've got tons. Oh yeah, plenty dude. Ah, that's, yeah, much more than I thought. Now let's see if this boulder is going to give us as much stone as the tree gave us wood. Because that would be actually awesome. Well, yeah, okay, so not as fast. We are getting one piece of stone with every hit, which is much better than we usually get. Because I think when it's just set on like normal settings, you get like one every two or three hits. I don't actually know, but all I know is that it's not as good as this because we are like 30 seconds in and we've got 40 stone. Okay, so we just hit 100 stone and I'm actually getting really tired <laughs> of holding down this trigger and 
knocking out the stone. This is crazy. I mean, I guess if it's similar to the tree, we're looking at like 180 stone. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, my stamina depletion is at like 0.1%. I've literally been swinging this for as long as it took me to get 140 stone, and it's just now approaching the red. Like, I don't want to play Power World on any other settings anymore. And look, my weapon is damaged before I'm able to knock out that entire boulder. That's crazy. Ooh, look, and we have our very first visitor. Let's see what all I can't buy. Wow, dude, I am filthy poor. That That's goofy. Okay, well, I need to start hunting things, hunting people, uh, and hunting pals. Because I, I need... God, I need to start crafting spears and just catching as many things as I can and just selling them. Let's see the damage. <laughs> 3,000 damage. I don't even know what that damage was. Oh, God, that's a terrible shot. Oh, boy. Come on. Yep, 2,300 damage, and he was still, what, 30 feet away? That is nuts. Actually, you know, I probably really could take on the majority of Alpha Pals in this game with just my bow and arrow. God, that'd be awesome. You know, we're going to have to try that. And speaking of being poor, we're going to have to do a video of, like, how fast can you get to a million dollars in Pal World? Because this is nuts. Like, to be this poor early on in the game and be advancing this fast. That just shouldn't work. And now that we got our little flame pal, we can put the primitive furnace down. But we can't really put anything in there because I don't have any mining pals. And I still don't have the ore mining facility. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to need to catch... A bunch of tombats. I mean, I could make it all the way to Dig Toys, but I'm going to need some, what, great, no, Ultra Spheres and, no, not Hyper Spheres. I forget whatever the yellow ones are, but if I don't get those, then, boy, mining's going to be a pain. All right, we are about to hit our 20-minute mark, and just to recap, you guys can see that the logging pit and stone pit I am just now building, which is crazy, but Dinosaur, thank you for taking such an immediate liking to it. We also have a bed set out and a crappy foundation set up for our house. I'm not really focused on building anything right now because I really just want to see how far I can get into the game without really focusing on making a really cool base. But there are some things that we actually really do need for the base, you know, like uh, pal beds, and uh, I haven't made any, but they do have a feed box, and you know, it would be great if they had food in it, <laughs> but uh, I haven't put any plantations down whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, we, we are going to need to start refocusing on building everything that's going to make the base run rather than just leveling up. All right, just one more straw bed, and we will call it good, and we'll just let Pengullet build the rest of these. But nice little foundation, nothing too crazy for these guys. You know, I mean, I am going to build them something really cool by the end of this, but I think that'll do for now. I also just realized I don't think I changed the day or night system for Power World, and it's just now becoming the first night of the game. And had to build a fire pit, but look at that. Level 17. That... God, this is awesome. The fact that we just level up with such speed. I really just want to see what would happen if we just built the logging and stone pit. And then just literally all we did was mine both of those and then just built arrows. Like, could we level up to level 50 by just building 6,000 arrows? I know that'd be absolutely miserable, but... I think we could do it, especially at this rate. You know what? We're going to try it. We're going to make that a completely separate video. Getting to level 50 by building arrows only. I don't think it'll work, but you know what? It's worth a shot. I mean, what else am I going to do with my life? Yeah, so I definitely wasn't wrong. One of our biggest point of contentions is actually getting enough stone, wood, pallium fragments, whatever, to keep up with my leveling up. And boy, oh boy. I think if I ever try this again, I'm going to have to just focus on defeating pals, yeah. right? Going full one-punch man mode and then mm. actually capturing the pals, right? Because it'll help me level up quicker, but I need spheres. Well, and I mean, in order to get those spheres, I need materials. So it boils down to just doing this over and over again, collecting these materials. But I do need some diggers, so I'm going to have to think of a way to craft pal spheres fast enough or get enough materials to capture things like dig toys, tombat, 
whatever, because once I get those, game over. I also keep forgetting that because I'm leveling up so fast, it means that I'm unlocking technology. And I don't need to unlock this technology, but like, I just want to, so I'm going to. But the big thing is, is that I just don't have the materials to keep up with all the technology that I'm unlocking. So it doesn't make sense for me to continuously do this. But we're approaching the 30 minute mark and I'm still in the same place that I built my first base and I haven't explored a single region. I mean, I haven't gone to fight an alpha pal and I don't really want to right now. You know, I know I can defeat it, but really the only pal that I can't take my mind off of is Tombat. And I just realized it's actually the middle of the night <laughs> and I'm not going to look for Tombat. Let's go look for Tombat. Oh, it's getting light out. I don't see. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh my God. We just got so lucky with that. And oh yeah, I can't cross from here, but we can hit it. Come on, baby. Stay right there. Sniped it between the trees. You guys think it'll uh, fly over that gap? No, no, I thought not either. Okay, God, we're doing so much damage right now. I just don't want to kill it, but okay. A little bit more mustard than that. Oh, it's too much. Oh, I knew it. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. You know what? Screw it. We're doing all this damage. Let's really just put our damage to the test by fighting Zoe and Grizzble. I mean, at this point, they're the only ones that are actually going to put up a fight. And them and probably all the other tower bosses at this point. And I really wonder, since I'm level 17, I mean, you guys think I could beat the third tower boss? I can't remember his name. Maybe it's Axel and Orserk? I think it's, that's what it is. Yeah. Maybe You know what? Maybe I could defeat them at this level with just a three-shot bow. I know my pal wouldn't be of any help to me. Actually, you know what? Eventually, I could defeat the thing because they wouldn't be doing a lot of damage to me but I, it would not be before that 10 minute timer and I mean look we are at the 30 minute mark well the 31 minute mark and we are battling Zoe and Grizzbolt this is probably going to be a pretty quick fight you know let's actually see how this goes all right Dinosaur, you're gonna stay out there and just distract him while I hit him <laughs> oh my god are you kidding look at all that damage okay so four hits between me and Dinosaur, and it's Okay, five, and it's almost at half health in 15 seconds. Six hits, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, <laughs> a twelve, and finally, thirteen. Wow. That was uh, super easy. Okay, so I'm level 20. Level 20 in 32 minutes, and we just spanked Zoe and Griswold. We probably could have taken them down, honestly, at level 13-ish. I mean, that's kind of wild. So, really, in 30 minutes, we didn't make it out of the beginner region, but we did just put a smackdown on Zoe and Griswold in less than 60 seconds. <gasps> so, in reality, at this point, with the damage I'm doing, I should be battling like level 30 pals and especially with the damage I'm receiving. There's not very many pals right now that are going to, you know, one hit KO me. But, you know, again, I don't even have any armor. And if we do have armor, I feel like I'm just going to be overpowered. So this is awesome. If you guys have never done this, you really do need to give it a try.